Welcome back to a brand new series here in our Schedule for Schools. In this series, we're going to take a look at Plan Set 8 in our Harley Blueprint series pack. The first thing I did, I have already saved my project. So you can save your project by going up to the three lines and going to Save As and saving it there in your Google Drive account. This so that way we can go and kind of automatically save it as we go so that we don't lose our work. And this works for both SketchUp for Schools and our SketchUp Pro. To begin with, this in this project, we're going to do the plot, which is going to encompass everything except for the foundation of the house itself. So to begin with, let's create a flat plane. So click on the rectangle tool and we're simply going to create a large rectangle. In order to move around your project, if we press down on the middle scroll wheel, we can orbit around. If you click on the middle scroll wheel and hold down shift, we can uh, pan around. So this way you can zoom out by scrolling up and down on the scroll wheel itself. So what those allow you to do is it allows you to move around your project while still keeping your original tool that you have selected. If we came over here and use the actual icon for orbit or for the pan tool, we would get rid of our current tool and we'd have to go back and select it. So this is a, those three keyboard shortcuts using the mouse is the main way to really speed up your work process. And so if you don't use any other keyboard shortcuts, the orbit, pan, and zoom on your mouse is the key way. So let's go ahead and we're just going to roughly create a pretty large rectangle. Oh, if you look over to the bottom right, you'll see the dimensions is 118 feet by 211 feet. So vertically, we have 118 feet, and width, we have 211 feet. Let's take, if we click on this third from the bottom, you'll see we have a, a whole bunch of other tools or tools that are available to us. We're going to click on the tape measure, and I'm simply going to... Make sure that we toggle the guides, which is that control. So make sure that we're creating guides. And I'm simply going to just click on an arbitrary distance from the guy, from the edge. We're then going to drag from that point over to the right. The width of our plot is 65 feet. So 65 apostrophe hit enter. One thing to keep in mind, the default measurement for SketchUp is inches. So if you type in 65, it's going to be 65 inches. So if you want feet, you have to put in the apostrophe. It's actually the opposite of Revit. Autodesk Revit, the default measurement is feet. So if you typed in 65 in Revit, that would be 65 feet. Um, so that is the width. We're, let's go ahead and do the same thing for this bottom piece. So again, it needs to be green. That's going to be going up. And if you're ever not sure, rotate, click on the middle scroll wheel, rotate around, and you'll s and to get a different look of your guides. The overall length of our project is 105 so 105 feet so let's take our rectangle tool now that we have those dimensions and simply just connect all those dots I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm going to erase all of these lines 
So now we have the overall plot for our project. Now we're simply going to go around and kind of put in the guides for everything else that we're given. So the first measurement we're going to use is from the very front. The house is 20 feet from the road. It's also 15 feet from our left fence and 28 feet from our right fence. This gives us an overall width for our house at 22 feet. The length of our house is 38 feet. So now we have that measurement. Let's take our rectangle tool and simply draw in our rectangle. On our right side, we have a garage. So the garage is five feet from the fence line, 15 feet from the road and the overall length and width of our garage is 20 feet by 12 feet. So again, this is 12 feet. This is our 20 feet and it is five feet from the side and 15 feet from the road. Let's take our rectangle tool and draw in our rectangle. If you're just starting out, you have to keep in mind the guides are simply guides. They're not actually doing anything. So if we don't type in or if we don't put in that rectangle, then it's not there. The guides are, but that's it. So that's one thing to keep in mind with guides. It actually doesn't, it, they don't uh, change you're drawing any it's just there to help you figure out where to draw and that's important here in our SketchUp so let's erase our guides once again a few other measurements the overall back part of our plot is 47 feet we do have a fence that is three foot six. So in order to type in three foot six, we can do three apostrophe six. Again, default measurement in SketchUp is inches. So we don't need to put in the double apostrophe four inches. So just simply just type in three apostrophe six. And that is our fence. So I'm just gonna draw a line using the line tool all the way across in order to signify that that is the location of our fence. One of the last little things we have here in the very back, we do have a small little room. Um, it is 10 feet off that left, left edge and it is 10 feet long and five feet wide. So we're simply going to do that, come in and draw in that measurement. And that is that little room in the very back corner. At this point, we're pretty much done with the plot itself. I want to click on the face of this rectangle and delete. Same thing with this one and same thing for this one. If we go underneath, let's take our push pull tool, click, and we're going to bring this down, just an arbitrary number. It doesn't really matter where you're going to bring it down to. If this happens, that's okay. We can easily fix it. If you look down here in the bottom, you'll see where it says control equals toggle to create a new starting face. So simply just hit the control it brings up a little plus sign 
that means it's going to create a new face click on it bring it up hover over this right edge that's called inferencing you'll see our little dashed line go ahead and click and now we can do the same thing for this piece here hover over our face here that's going to inference that measurement go ahead and click We have a little fence on this side. We're just going to type in two feet. And our little fence over here is around one foot. And actually, just let's go ahead and make those one foot on each side. So that is the location of our fence. We do have a sidewalk and a driveway that's not part of the plot, but we will be adding that in at a later time. Next, I want to turn all of this into a group. So erase those guides, take your selection tool, and I want to click three times rapidly in order to select everything. Whenever you're selecting things, if you click once, it's going to select whatever you select. Um, so I select this face, so it's only going to select the face. If I double click, it's going to select the face and all of the edges. And if I click on three times, it's going to select everything that touches that face. So now everything is selected. I want to right click and I want to turn this into a group. Over here, you'll see our outline on panel. You'll see that we have two groups right now. We have the a component, which is these three little squares. Um, that is that little person over here. And we have the group that we just made. We can right click on that and rename. And let's go ahead and type in plot. Make sure you hit enter. And now we have a group for our plot. So at this point, I'm going to leave it just like it is. We will use textures and materials at a later time. Make sure you save your project. And stay tuned for our next episode where we start taking a look at the foundations for our three rooms.